My life back in Kenya, I kind of didn't like it. It was a very hard time living there. Not having a um, machine for our clothing or not having your own room, sleeping with five other kids, which was too crowded. Can't have my own personal time. And I didn't really have an education there. I never went to school back then. I would most of the time go by myself to get water and everything from my mom. And my mom had me and only my sister that who can help her. So then I would be the one who's doing most of the work all the time. I hated most of the time when I had to walk for 30 minutes and then carry water back and forth. I thought life would change much better if I came here. And I was happy because there's cousins that we had here and they told us education here is way better than that. First we learned in Minneapolis. It was during school. In two months the school would be closed. And my mom just decided as for not to, not to go to school because we were new, we didn't know people, we nobody drived. None of our siblings or our parents read Swahili or English or any language. It was very hard because we really didn't have people to help us. We were we worked with a lot of Somali people, but we didn't know them. We stayed home. We never went out. All we did is just stay home. No TV, no phones, and we never got to go any to a playground or anything because we were new to here, and my mom would think that we would be stolen or anything, or we would get beat up or anything. So she would say nobody's going out. One day, my mom visited um, Parable, and she have seen a lot of people that we were neighbor with back in Africa. And they told her that it was better if we lived to Faribault because there, we know most of the people that live here and we would get help and everything. So my mom found us as a house here and people helped us to get here from Minneapolis and they helped us go to school and everything before we had buses and everything. So we got a lot of help here and I have made friends, everything, my life have changed. In eighth grade, I kind of didn't like the first couple of weeks because I didn't have friends and all that. I didn't know anybody. And most of the Somali people that I had classes with, they would all speak in English. And I would think that they were talking about me or anything. I would just feel depressed. Then we got to know each other more. And then I found out I was cousins with some of them that I didn't know before. And making friends, going out, getting to know different kind of people, learning all that got easier. And then I had friends to help me get my permit, drive. I taught my mom how to drive. I helped her get her permit. I helped her get her license. And I really did a lot of things for my mom. I have empathy of how my parents feel. I feel them because I've been there with them. And I know how it feels. So after I graduate, I want to work for almost eight or month, eight or nine months, and then go to college. I want to become a nurse, and after being a nurse, I want to be a doctor. Like after I, I always would take my mom to a nurse or emergency center or everything, even when she had a baby and she got surgery, I was always at the emergency with my mom. I slept with her for a week and I would watch how they work and how they help people out and the help my mom gets and everything. And I know how people feel. So I feel like I, I wanna help people out.